Hey guys, so I'm going to do my uh, March favourites for you. Um, I've been pretty consistent with what I've been doing makeup wise this month, so not a lot's changed, but a few of my skincare things have changed, which I mentioned in my like collective haul video. Um, they've definitely been my favourites of March, so I'm going to show them to you now, although you've already seen them in a way. <laughs> um, so. Um, the first thing really that has changed my skin this month totally is the Clarisonic. I um, I know this is expensive and it's just not something um, you can just go out and buy. Um, I'm very glad I purchased it. For me it's really changed my appearance of my skin. Um, apart from, I think I've had one spot in the last, like, how long have I been using it? A month I think I've had it now. Um, and it's definitely helping to reduce my pore size um, just here I have quite visible pores and I have a few sort of blackheads and things on my chin um, and it's definitely helping to reduce all of that um, it gets rid of dry patches um, I'm so pleased I got um, it in addition to this I've been using with it rather I've been using the um, Elemis Pro Radiance Cleanser which is again was one of their new cleansers that they brought out um, well I suppose a couple of months ago now and um, it's a thick creamy con uh, cleanser um, you pop it onto your face, dry face um, you leave it for a minute to um, dissolve your makeup and then I wet my Clarisonic and I use that across my face um, and the combination of these two things for me is really really working um, I do occasionally get dry skin this is helping with that um, I have kind of combination skin so I do occasionally get spots but I don't have regular breakouts um, now which is great um, so I don't need to concentrate on um, anti-blemish uh, products really but this does help with that um, it has lavender in it uh, and things which is good for purifying um, skin um, because I do have like blackheads and invisible pores and things like that so the combination of those two for me has been fabulous um, and then after that something else that's then been making my skin glow and look even better um, is this the uh, everlasting foundation from Clarins I, I know I mentioned these three things in my collective haul but um, really these are my favorite things of March um, I'm using the color nude um, some people have asked me what color I am in MAC um, I've never used a MAC foundation but I did get tested for a concealer uh, last week and I was an NW20 um, for for the Studio Fix concealer. Um, I've, I do like Bobbi Brown makeup but I tend to break out so far with all their foundations I've broken out with them. Um, so I'm really glad Clarins have brought out a new one because I was getting a bit bored with my other one. I mean, it, it's fine in my matte um, foundation. It's fine. It looks nice. It's flawless. Fine. But I just kind of wanted to try something else. And, it, and where it says everlasting, it really is. Normally I would have to top up my makeup like about 4 o'clock or something. Um, I'd just put a tiny bit of more foundation on and, you know, some blusher and stuff. Um, but I'm really not doing that at all with this. And... For me, that's great. Um, you know, I I can feel safe in the knowledge I still look fine at half past four, five o'clock, and I haven't had to refresh my makeup. The only thing I do now is put a bit of MSF on and a bit of blusher. Um, it's easy, and I can do it without a mirror now. I can just go, you know, because I don't need to put any foundation then on. On um, for blusher, I've been using mostly this month. Um, and again, I did say this in my other video, NARS Orgasm has definitely been the one that I've been using this month. Um, it was at the bottom of my makeup bag. I dug it out and tried it, um, and I love it. Um, although, it has been replaced in the last couple of weeks, well, week or so, with um, Coralista from Benefit. Um, and I have been using this instead. It's very similar, um, but I find that the um, kind of gold... Um, sheen comes out a little bit more and it's a bit more pigmented um, the only downside to this is and with all benefits kind of blushes is that I just don't think these boxes are particularly travel friendly I can't fit it in my makeup bag 
So I put this one on in the morning and then I take this one with me um, for a top up later on in the day because they're quite similar. But yeah, I love the Coral Lifter. That would definitely be a favourite. Um, another favourite of mine this month has been the Lady Gaga Viva Glam lipstick, which my mum bought me because I couldn't get it in the UK. Well, it was sold out online, and by the time I was going to get to a shop, it would have definitely have gone. So she bought it for me abroad. I'm sure you all know the colour, but that's the colour now uh, on my hands, rather. Um, I find it very flattering. Um, I don't wear a lot of it though. I don't like you know slather it on. I just put a bit on. I uh, put a bit on my bottom lip, bottom lip maybe, and just kind of sheer it out with my finger. Um, maybe put a little bit of lip balm or something. Out. I I found actually I have to put lip balm underneath because um, it can make your lips look really dry if you haven't got like flawless smooth lips that day. Um, it can really make your look the, the drier patches on your lips stand out more so I've been putting lip balm underneath um, and then that kind of gives it a bit of a sheen as well that's really nice um, and then um, a brush that I've um, been using every day this month um, is the MAC 266 um, it's just this angled brush um, I've had it for a long time um, I think I got it in the summer last year um, I asked the lady for an eyeliner brush because I had my gel liners but I didn't have a proper brush to put them on with and I didn't get it, I couldn't work out how to use it, I kept like, I don't know, jabbing myself in the eye, I don't know, it was just, I couldn't work out how to use it and then I had some kind of epiphany and I just managed to work out how to use it um, and I really like the angle on it um, it's really good for just painting it on, right, you can get right in the corner um, I think on the website they describe this as a brow brush but the lady sold it to me as an eyeliner brush and it works fine it, I think it's the same you know it's a sort of stiff synthetic brush um, so it's good for the kind of liquid products and then finally um, the nail varnish that I've been obsessed with and I just love it <laughs> is uh, Jade is the New Black from the OPI Hong Kong collection. Um, I just adore the colour. Um, it's such an interesting colour. Um, it looks great with everything. Um, so I have to wear black for work, so this looks great with it. Um, I love kind of clashing it with other colours, like if I've got pink on or like red or something like that. Um, and as Lorraine said in one of her videos, or somebody pointed out on one of her um, Day in the Life videos, it's also Starbucks colour, and I'm I love frappuccinos that's not why I got it but that kind of makes me happy um so they were my March favorites pretty quick because I've kind of been a bit lazy with makeup and still not lazy. kind of doing the same thing um most days um using the same products but those are definitely the new things that I've been using this month and that I love um so yeah I'll see you guys soon and um thanks for watching bye